Gentlemen, uh, we now welcome in Stacey Washington, host of the Stacey on the Right Show. Uh, Stacey, welcome. Hey there, Steve. Good to talk to you. Good to see you again. So, you know, there's some news breaking right now uh, that Donald Trump has said uh, just a little while ago that Barack Obama is more angry at him, Donald Trump, than he is at the shooter. And I think that's a that's a good read on the situation. You know, I. Uh the president doesn't like to be challenged. He likes to say things and control the conversation and even decide and dictate what language we can use. We can't say Islamic Jihad. We can't say Islamic terrorism. And he's actually scrubbed all of that language out of our counterterrorism manuals, the training, everything has been cleaned and scrubbed to the degree that people are more afraid of saying something that might be politically incorrect than they are of not managing a situation where Americans may die. And that's why we're seeing more and more of these attacks that are actually successful. Absolutely. All right, let's get to the phones with Stacey Washington, folks, 877 Newsmax. And we go to Pete from Gloucester County, Virginia. Hi, Pete. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Good, say hello to Stacey. Anyway, hey, I wanted to... Hey, hey Stacy. <laughs> hey, listen, um, yeah, no, I wanted to follow up. Not a lot of people know that Obama was raised as a Muslim. I think he's a Muslim sympathizer, and he doesn't want to say anything against him or do anything against him. Well, also, yeah, go ahead, go you know, ahead. The, the, yeah, the Muslim religion, if you're not Muslim, you are an infidel, therefore the enemy, no matter who is preaching, you know, Islam. And the other thing is, they want to take over the world. That's their whole basis of their religion. That's what Allah wants him to do, take over the well, world. Well, all right, so I appreciate it, Pete. Uh, Stacy. for a few things. First of all, uh, as I discussed with uh, Brad Thor, who uh, said hello to you, uh, wanted me to say hello to you. Um, He's so awesome. Yes, uh, he is. He was raised as a Muslim, as a kid. Uh, he has that Muslim background, but he is a Christian now. And uh, when he says Muslims want to take over the world, are there many? Yeah, but not, you know, we always have to point out not all. Well, obviously not. I mean, one and a half billion Muslims. But if let's just say just 10 percent right, of that, them. Are yeah, radicalized. that's a hell of a big number. That, that's a large number. That's more than the population of the United States. But let's even go further than that. OK, so let's talk about whether it matters if the president has Muslim sympathies. It doesn't. What matters is how he discharges his duties as commander in chief. He is in charge of the federal government, which one of their mandates is securing the border and securing the homeland. That's not being done right now. So I'd rather judge him on whether or not he's performing his duties rather than trying to ascertain whether or not he's a true. Well, well, I think what I think what this caller is trying to say and what Donald Trump may be uh, insinuating is that uh, sympathies he may have consciously or unconsciously uh, have led to failed policies and inability to, to, to do yes, the right thing. They're impacting the way he does his job. And that, that to me is the more valid conversation. And it's not that I don't, I, I understand what the caller is saying and I sympathize with the concern. But when we get off into trying to decide what he really believes, it gives right. the liberals talking points right. against us. No, no, I you're right. No, I agree. Topic. But but like what you put out about scrubbing radical Islam from uh, all the training manuals, et cetera, one might argue that, uh, you know, there's a, there's a motive there of some sort. Um, you know, and it seems like every solution, common sense solution to fight ISIS, he turns around and says, oh, we can't do that. That's exactly what they want us to do. But don't go away. We're coming back with more of Stacey Washington, more of your phone calls. And of course, give me five next. All right, folks, we are back with Stacey Washington, host of Stacey on the Right Show. And let's get back to the busy phones at 877 News, Max. And first up is Tim from Frederick, Maryland. Hi, Tim. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Hi, Stacey. Hey there. Two things, Steve. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Two things. One, after the 9-11 attack, we had about seven more years of Bush administration. We didn't have no more attacks on American soil. Since Obama's been in there, we've had over 45 attacks on American soil, and hundreds of people dead. So, what's what's up with that? I mean, well, I don't know if we've had 45 attacks. I, I I believe I know we've had eight. I'm not sure about 45. That might be uh, around uh, the globe, as far as uh, I, I'm not sure where that number came from. But Stacy, uh, you know, without a doubt. Um, they, the terrorists have become more and more aggressive, and, you know, 
whether that's attributable to the fact that they don't think Obama's going to react or do anything to ISIS uh, or not, you tell me. Well, rhetoric matters. And I, I remember I grew up in Germany and I also have served overseas and I was on active duty in the Air Force. And one of the things that happens is whoever the commander in chief is of this country really sets the tone for the language and the disposition of uh, how business gets done around the world based on America's prominence. And when we have a president who refuses to name the enemy, who equivocates, who tries to control speech, who's more concerned about political correctness than actually winning, then you see terrorists and bad guys become emboldened and they're operating under the assumption that they're not going to be struck down. And they're right. George Bush would never put up with this kind of drama, but yeah. Barack Obama will. Yeah. And of course, uh, the, the, uh, the difference between Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan and, you know, how our hostages got out and the whole thing uh, yeah. and, and, and all that. Uh, listen, good point, uh, Tim. Appreciate it. Jim is in Chicago. Hello, Jim. How you doing, Steve? How are you, Stacy? Thank you for your service. Hey there. <laughs> and I love your Route 66 sign in the background. Oh, thank you. Uh, when, uh, That's for you guys. <laughs> when Mr. Obama spoke today, I, I, I cringe when I say Mr. Obama, but when he spoke today, I was actually expecting to hear something about the victims in Orlando and then, like Mr. Kudlow, maybe a plan about defeating ISIS. Right. <laughs> Instead, Instead, all we got was he glanced over Orlando, patted himself on his back about Osama bin Laden, which I really didn't understand. And then he went on to attack Mr. Trump and the Second Amendment. And basically, that was it. Well, Jim, he's a, he's a narcissistic maniac. I mean, like a Stacy, he just met with all of his uh, his appropriate leaders on national security and military, etc. And he comes out and he talks about Donald Trump. Yeah, I thought that was really unprofessional. He is the commander in chief. And if he really wants to dismiss Donald Trump as a candidate who's not even worthy of his time, he should stop tra talking about him. He really talks about Trump a lot now. And it's kind of telling, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's under his skin, the most thin-skinned president, not black skin, not white skin, thin-skinned president we've ever had. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Stacy. it's always great to see you. Uh, and uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where we're headed here. I, I, I just, uh, I know he's going down Thursday. Ten seconds. What do you expect him to say on Thursday? Blame guns? More the same. More gun control. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's going to be very disappointing. And, of course, he chooses to go there when he didn't go to so many other venues. That's interesting, too. Thank you, Stacey Washington. Appreciate it, as always.